Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's almost Christmas time and we've got a feast to feed some people so let's make this diabetic friendly this time and let's make sugar free maple glazed ham. If you guys want to know how to make this please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This is going to be time consuming but the easiest recipe you will ever make on this channel. The first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven for 350 degrees and then grab your eight pound ham. It doesn't matter what kind of ham it is, just grab an eight pound ham and we are going to just start off by taking the plastic off and we are going to rinse off any of the preservatives or any of the salt or anything else that you might have on there. If you guys notice, it is in a tin foil pan. I am using this pan for easy cleanup and convenience. You guys don't have to use the pan if you don't want to, if you guys have a regular pan or just another pan that you would prefer to use. But I want easy cleanup because it gets hectic and busy and we don't want any of that. So again, continue rinsing everything off. All you need to do is just a few good rinse, that's it, and nothing in particular or special to it. Just, you know, wash it off, rub it, pat it down, that's it. Now once it's all dried off, put it flat side down and then grab a large sheet of tin foil and cover it up. What you guys will notice that I am using differently instead of my regular oven, I am using a convection oven just to see if it worked out and guess what? It works because around the holidays everything gets really busy and your oven gets full so if you can do it in this, if yours is large enough, then go ahead and use it. Like you guys saw in my notes right there, one hour and 30 minutes to bake and then make your sauce right after that. You guys don't need to see me pouring things right into this little pot here. So grab those three ingredients, one and a half cups of brown sugar or the brown sugar Splenda. I am using sugar-free maple syrup as well. You don't have to do that. And your ground cloves and that's it. You just go ahead and cook it until it's runny just like that on medium high heat. And then go ahead and grab your ham out and all we're gonna do is slice this up. So grab your tongs and whatever spoon or whatever else because it gets heavy when you're trying to do it. So what we're going to do is lay it on its side and then we're going, well you see how mine has the little lines there, the little grooves. I'm going to cut that using that as my guideline to be able to cut evenly. And the only reason why I'm cutting it is because I'm going to be throwing my sauce or my glaze right in between each slice of it. And if you guys want to know, it does already work with the bone-in spiral ham as well. I've done it before with this. I actually used honey instead of maple syrup, but to keep it diabetic friendly, I, wanted to use the, I went ahead and used the sugar-free maple syrup, syrup in, in place of the honey. So if you guys want to use honey instead, you can definitely do so. But again, all I'm doing here, as you see, is cutting it right in between the little grooves or lines that it's already given me so that I am able to pour my syrup right in between each slice. Now in case you guys didn't know, since we are going to be cooking this for an additional hour, baste it every 20 minutes. So use about a third of cup or third cup of the syrup a third of each. Do you get what I'm saying? Use a third of the portion of the syrup to put it in between each slice and then bake it in your oven. Take it back out in 20 minutes and go ahead and do the exact same thing, same thing again until you're done with all of your glaze. And if you see what I'm doing here, I'm just using a spoon, using the tongs, trying to push it open just so I can make sure I can get it right inside of there. Nothing too complicated or difficult. Just throwing it on there. You can use a brush, you can use a spoon, whatever you prefer. Brushes are hard for harder to wash, I think. So I just use a spoon and I just kind of like shove it all in there. And once you're done basting, one third of it or just getting in between each slice of it, grab your tin foil, put it right back on, throw it right back into the oven, let it cook for another 20 minutes, take it back out, do the exact same thing all over again. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to show you guys all three times that I've been doing this. I'm just letting you guys know this is the method that we, I did end up using. And if you can see here, somebody couldn't wait. And so those are my husband's hands and he decided he wanted a piece of ham right now. <laughs> So it's that good. It's that easy and it's that good and he couldn't wait and so we just went with it. But also if you find yourself seeing that you need to cut sli uh, deeper into your slices to make sure it kind of like folds down a little bit more so you can get more sauce on toward the bottom of it, go ahead and do so at this time. It's just easier that way I guess. 
and then again, syrup on top, cover it up, throw it back into the oven, and then plate it. And that's all you have to do. And if you guys like this recipe, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.